Facebook or group. Yeah, I was just walking out of the show here, the farm science review. Uh, they actually had these guys out in the field demonstrating them. They're all huge combines. The class was over here, and I just walked by the class place, and the people from the university gave me some filtration. Um, I seen this Yamar display. I think the government had a regulation on importing these until in the 90s, but I'm not sure how that happened, but they have this little mini baler and there's some vid videos on this. It puts out this tiny little bale. I mean, here's my air filter. You see the scale? That's like a little lawnmower tire. But if he was in a bind and just to bale some hay, maybe just with one horse, I don't know. What's that over there? I don't know. A fancy looking mower of some sort. Nice looking tractors. Um, comfortable cab looking anyway. They build good stuff. I mean, because that's what the John Deere one's just a Yamar, it's repainted. Basically. That's what part of that band was. You know, I mean, so these green manure spreaders, and see how the rotors go this way? I think that's what my one neighbor had. It was one I never seen before. And he had the one that shot it out the side before. So she's selling clothes over here. But this is kind of like an equipment row. And I'm pretty impressed on how some of this equipment opens up like that. They have a couple of spokes models all over there. And they have nice products. This for the large dairy farmer over here. They have the silage equipment and the feed grinders. Myers. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen that little uh, baler in action. Now there, that's probably the biggest baler I've ever seen right there. And it's called the Big Baler th 340 Plus. Huh. It's a pretty beautiful tractor too. RD Holder Oil Company, a big, big New Holland sprayer, and some tillage equipment. I'm gonna walk back out here to the bike, I guess, guys. Um, these are the guys that deliver our gasoline to us at the gas stations. These are kind of funny looking buildings, they go up fast. They got a size for everybody. There's the Kuhn K U H N Kuhn display. They have some nice stuff here. Can Am. We're gonna look at some side by sides. The electrical cooperative. They have some pretty cool stuff for uh, safety related. But Can Am, we seen a bunch of Can Am out there parked by my bike. I think I actually have blisters on my feet. So there's a pretty lady there and another pretty lady, Mark Stack. They're gonna give away free ice water in Can Am. They got the rubber tracks on this one. I like to walk on over. There's they have a giveaway it looks like. Check this one out. That's at the police department. They repossess some of this stuff sometimes and then they get to play with it. That thing's crazy looking. Uh, it starts out at $8,800. But it looks like $8,800 in tracks on it. That almost looks like a snowmobile track. And it, it does look pretty heavy if you would get it stuck. I mean, that one's got like duels like a semi on it. So yeah, the Can-Am display here. Farm Science Review. 
Um, well, a 1,000, that's what I was thinking, yeah. 1,000 cc engine. They put the prices right there. Like this one's 98, 49. The spec sheets they have on them. Right there, kind of tells the whole story right there. $7,099. I'm not sure if that's like Bombardier Group. You're, yeah, it's got the thing on it. Yeah, that, is that the Polaris guys even? They own Indian motorcycles. This one here, the Defender XT. I mean, that's pretty freaking awesome looking. They're talking about pulling two tons with this thing. And this guy's at 17, which that's what the Honda one runs. So they've, they've got a lot of competition in this area. Um, is that a 12 inch tire? 14. 27, 11, or 14 rubber. So yep, I had fun today at the Farm Science Review everyone. Thanks, Burger Rupee.